1207. I've just finished up these three Victor Knox knives and the hedge trimmers, the lopers, and the pair of scissors. About an hour ago, I had a guy dropped off three more knives. One is a SOG straight bladed knife. I finished that up. He's not coming back for his for two weeks. But I've got to run the uh, Victor Knox's back to the owner. The other two were pocket knives. A single bladed Leatherman. And some kind of automatic knife I never heard of. All right, that's it. I'm going out for deliveries, and then we're going to the land of Nada. Stand by. As I was delivering, I got a phone call from a guy. He said, I got a brand spanking new Microtech. I need you to polish it up for me. Factory edge, really sharp. He just wants it polished. Out the front auto. Look at that baby. It's an expensive knife right here. Whew. Take your breath away. Microtech. Nice knife, too. I'm headed to the land of Nada. Stand by. The Mumbles man has been down there for probably an hour and a half. And Steve has been down there since 12.15. One of my buddies was doing some recon, and he saw him walking on the beach at 12.15. So he's been there. It's 2, uh, 2.35 right now. When I get there, the tide's going to be just about low. But if you remember yesterday, the tide didn't make a whole lot of difference because everything was up the beach or something. I got a feeling it's going to be the same way today. But that's just a feeling I have. Being a rocket scientist, I get lots of feelings, you know. Okay, I forgot to tell you that. I'll get back to you. 10th Street. windy ocean angry not too cold today just windy I got flip I mean I got sneakers on today I ain't going to get too damp I hope I hope I hope and this way since it ain't so windy you'll be able to hear better this is the black sand this is where we were yesterday you see the beach is really wide I don't see any looters any place. It's all to ourselves. All right, let's go. Target number one is another 10 and 11. You know what 10 and 11 was yesterday? You can see it's jumping. 8 to 10, 11. out of the ground I see a lot of black iron stuff right there I think it's one of our buddies that's why I was jumping he was trying to tell us it was no good it was a bottle cap you see it look at that that's what I'm looking for knowledge knowledge I say Solid leather, but it jumps around. Uh, I'm getting the hang of it now, I think. Nice rusty bottle cap. That's good, I like that. Today I like it. Target number two. Just at the edge of the dam. Water. I got it at beach one. Sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, but pretty solid. Solid eighteen out.
Looks like a coin. I ain't sure what it is. But it is crusty. I guess it's a cruddy penny. Yeah, it is. Cruddy penny. 18. Loaded up with crud. Hey, 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 watch out. Try to get me. Got a 12, solid 12, 13. Right there. I'm still in beach one. I think I should go to beach two. I just haven't changed it yet. Well, I got it. Whatever it is. You're backing up. Five meager cent. First one of the day. Five cent. Ah, dang, I like it. Now you can see I've been kind of zigzagging in and out. But I'm kind of following that line where I found that other penny down that way. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to beach two now. One bigger penny. Got me that time. Both my feet are wet. I stopped on a 25. And I wasn't paying any attention. See if we can find it way down here somewhere. It was about 10 feet from the other one. You see it? This is gorgeous. I got a feeling it's a penny, so stand by a minute. Hey, it's 10 cent, not a penny. First dime of the day. And like I said, it was about 10 feet from the other target. 
in the same area. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there's the other target, and this one here is right there. They're about 10 feet apart in the same line. Now here we had something that it just broke the threshold, and I was at sensitivity around 18. If I crank the sensitivity up to 25, I could hear a little better, but I couldn't get a solid reading on it anywhere. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six scoops out, and you can see something shining right there. You see it? See it right there? I don't know what it is. In the same line. Everything's traveling in the same line again today. But it's down the beach a little bit from yesterday. Stand by. I will say one thing. This ain't got a hell of a pinpointer on it. Much better than the uh, CTX. This is still 13 and 12. Another coin. Another nickel, five cent. Close. Let's go see what this 30 is. 29.30. I got the scoop in it, that's all I can do. See, it's a penny. No, it ain't. Maybe, maybe a quarter. I think quarter. Yeah, it's 25 cent. Big money, big money. 23, 24. I'm thinking penny, you know. But what do I know? I don't have no idea. We got it out. 25, 26, out.
five, six, and nine. And jump to 12 a couple of times. Five, six, and nine. I don't know what it's going to be. Five, five, five is the best of it, though. Like that pinpointer thing. That's funny, it's a solid 13 out. Looks like a penny. Yep, penny. Bummer. Same line as everything else, though. We'll go right on down this line right here. Keeping an eye out for the rogue waves that are trying to get us. Feet away, same line, we got a 25. 26. Twenty-five, twenty-seven, right? I don't see anything. Must be a little. We got it though. Dimes are going to come in at 25. Oh, baby, you trying to get me again, you turkey, you. 21, 21. Bigger scent. Looks like a bounty hunter. Junior and Dad. As I get closer to the pier, targets are dropped off. I think I'm going to go about another block where well, you can't see that seagull, but I'm going to turn around in about a block and go back. Let me see how that goes. I see activity. I see... I don't know if that's an Excalibur coil or an Equinox coil, but somebody's dragging in a scoop right here. I don't see nobody, but it had to be somebody here earlier. They stopped right here. 
But I don't see no holes, you turkey, you. Watch out. I'm going back this way now. I'm going to move up the beach about 10 feet. For about a block, then I'm going to move down 10 feet from where I was. We'll see how that goes. I got it out. 30. 30 out of the ground. Twenty five cent, I think. Three, twenty-four, twenty-five. I see it. A dime or a penny. Ten cent, ten cent. Ten bigger cent. Eighteen. Solid eighteen. One cent, one cent. Lots of black sand in it. She runs pretty smooth in that black sand, much better than the uh, CTX, in my opinion. Ocean is very angry. Not as angry as it was, but still angry. Hope tomorrow's a nicer day. I may go to the button patch tomorrow and look around north of here and see if there's any buttons showed up. They go most any time there. Stand by. Solid eighteen. Solid twenty now, one scoop off of it. Well, I'm thinking penny, right? Eighteen, nineteen is pennies.
One penny. I might as well share this little tidbit with you. We're using the module for our private, you know, our own headphones. I'm using the Grey Ghost uh, Black Widows, and Denny's using uh, Sunray Gold. In order to do that, you have to have a jack that's big enough for the old style plug. This baby comes with a little teeny quarter inch, I call it an eighth inch jack. I don't know what size it is, but I'm sure y'all already, most of y'all already know that. It's an adapter. It's big on one end, a little on the other end. Small male, big female. And it plugs right into that little doodad thing right there. The problem is, this thing is a little big, so you have to trim off a little bit. You can see where I trimmed it off with my knife. So this goes in there and makes good contact. And what's good about it, this thing is rubber. And this thing is threaded, so you can screw the rubber base right into the thing where it makes great. doesn't move around or anything. I'm charging it right now. That's what that green light is flashing. And what's cool about this is like my Apple computer, it's got a magnetic plug on it that plugs right in and goes right away. I plug it, I got it plugged into the uh, CTX charger. The CTX charger's got a USB port on the side and it's rated at the correct two amps. It's got all the fancy codes you're supposed to have on it. They give you this, this thing right here, what kind of chargers you can use for charging the battery on the... Uh, and here's what you can't, this is what you got to have right here. That's what you got to have right there. It says right there, do not use mid-capacity USB charger. For example, uh, Samsung, Apple rated at one amp. They got to be two amp at five volts. E.g. Apple or Samsung. This will result in a full charge time for less than four hours. That ticket's right there. So mine is charging for tomorrow. Okie dokie. Oh, look at that. The leader's making hamburgers. And that pot right there is string beans. Let's take a look at them string beans. Oh, I like them. What's in there with the leeks? Mm -hmm. Leeks and string beans. And big old Hank. Mm -hmm. My big old Hank. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a roundup, such as it is. Mm -hmm. We finally found two quarters, four dimes, three penny, uh, three nickels, and uh, six or seven pennies. And a blinger. Some kind of tree looking thing. Okay, that's it. See you tomorrow. Cauliflower. Oh, uh, I haven't got anything back from the Mumbles Man yet, and I'll put it on there. I don't know if any of y'all watch the Gig Master or not, but I'll put a link to his uh, channel. He, I don't know if he's posted anything yet, but he was down there today. He he had a big day down there yesterday. I mean, in clad. He found like $5 worth of clad down there yesterday. He was on a hot goose. Gig Master Steve. Unbelievable. There's a mumbles man's nut. Picture's not very clear, but it looks like I was on a ball spot compared to where he was and where Gigmeister was yesterday. This is today for Denny. Got two zipper pulls, two junk rings right there, a little change, a lot of pennies, and 100,000 bottle caps. There's his, there's his bling rings. He was on the tickets today. He said there are hardly any tickets in the water, but mostly in the damp zone where I was, same as that where I was, but he was on the he was on the tickets today, I can tell you that.
Momo's man. Great Google Mooga. I'm going to uh, put a link in here to another video. It has nothing to do with detecting whatsoever. It's about the British Empire. A buddy of mine sent it to me, but it's one of the coolest videos I ever watched. It's long, but it's cool. You probably like it. And if you don't, you can just not watch it. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody.